Hello and welcome to LEGO Accuracy, where I see how accurate LEGO sets are to what they are based on. This time I am seeing how accurate the sets based off of The Mandalorian are to the show. This is going to be part 1, where I am only covering the sets based on The Mandalorian that came out in 2019 and 2020, which is only 5 sets. So that means in this video I am not covering the sets that came out this year in 2021, which includes Trouble and Tatooine from the beginning of the year, and all of the sets that were revealed for summer 2021. I will do those sets eventually in part two. Also, if you haven't seen any of my other LEGO accuracy videos, I give each thing a score based on how accurate it is, but in this video I made a new accuracy scoring system. Before I just came up with the score in my head, but now I am using a more official scoring system. Now the descriptions for these scores aren't perfect, and this system isn't perfect, but I thought this would work better than before, so I'm going to try it out and see how well it works. And let me know what you think of it and if it works well. Now, let's see how accurate these sets are. The first set is the ATST Raider, which came out in 2019 and was the first set based on The Mandalorian, and it appeared in Season 1 Episode 4 of the show. The first minifigure in this set is The Mandalorian himself, and this is based on his original outfit before he got his full Beskar armor. I think this minifigure is pretty accurate to this armor in the show. It is missing arm printing like the Beskar version has, and the color for the helmet is off. The helmet color here is like a dark, gunmetal gray color, and it isn't that dark in the show, and I think the helmet color is a little better for the Beskar version, which doesn't make sense, because in the show the helmet doesn't change. I give this minifigure an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. The second minifigure in this set is Cara Dune, and I think the printing is good, but the face isn't perfect, and I don't think that hair piece is the best piece for it. The colors on the minifigure are not perfect, but the actual design of the prints is good. I think the overall design looks good, so I give this minifigure an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. The last two minifigures in this set are the Clotonian Raiders, and we don't get a good look at them in the show. We only get a decent look at the face of one of them. In the show, the color of the face we see is more of a gray color, but the color of the faces on the minifigures are more orange. Some of the Raiders in the show could have more of an orange color, but I'm going on what I can see. The actual face print besides the color looks good though. The printing on the torso and legs and the overall outfits are hard to see in the show, so I'm not sure how accurate they are. I think these figures are a decent representation of the characters in the show. They are just hard to see how accurate they are. So I'm going to give them both an accuracy score of 3 out of 5. Now the build is the ATST, and this is another thing that is hard to see because it is only shown in the dark. But the one thing that is obviously different is that the red eyes are missing. The red eyes are a big detail in the show, and it really makes the ATST in the show more menacing and cool. So the Lego set is really missing that detail. Other than that, everything else looks accurate from what I can see. All of the damaged parts look right to me. I'm going to give this an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. So overall, the average of the whole set gets an accuracy score of 3.5 out of 5. The second set is the Mandalorian Battle Pack that came out in 2020, and it is kind of a remake of the original Mandalorian Battle Pack from 2011 with the similar builds. Also, since this is a battle pack, the builds won't be that accurate. All four minifigures are random Mandalorians, and we don't get a good look at many of the Mandalorians in the show. But from what I can see, none of the Mandalorians really look like these minifigures. The figures are way more colorful than what they look like in the show. There is some concept art that has Mandalorians that look pretty similar to this though, and that's probably what these are based off of. So I'm going to give all four an accuracy score of 2 out of 5. The first build is some sort of turret, and nothing like this really appears in the show at all. So I give this build an accuracy score of 0 out of 5. The second build is a speeder, and it also doesn't appear in the show, but it is a remake of the Mandalorian speeder from the original battle pack, which is based off of a speeder that does appear in the Clone Wars. So even though this does not appear in the Mandalorian, it is based off of something that does exist in Star Wars just with different colors. So I give this build an accuracy score of 1 out of 5. So overall, the average of the whole set gets an accuracy score of 1.5 out of 5. The third set is the Razor Crest that came out in 2020. The first minifigure is the Mandalorian, and I already went over it for the ATST set, and gave it an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. The second minifigure is Grogu, and it uses the Lego baby piece for the body, and I really think that works well. I also like the headpiece, but it isn't perfect. It looks a little too big, and doesn't look exactly right. So I'm going to give this figure an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. The third minifigure is Grief Karga, and this is based off of his outfit from Season 1. The printing on the torso looks good, but the colors have a little more red than in the show. There is also no leg printing, which this figure could have benefited from. Other than that, this figure looks great, but I give this minifigure an accuracy score of 3.5 out of 5. The fourth minifigure is IG-11, and it has that same droid build similar to IG-88, 
1998. The printing for the head looks good, and the overall shape of this figure is right, but with this style of minifigure, it is missing a lot, like the bandolier and the details for the body. I give this minifigure an accuracy score of 3 out of 5. The fifth minifigure is a scout trooper, and it is a standard scout trooper minifigure, which looks really good, but in the Mandalorian, the scout troopers are a little dirtier than the figure is. It also is missing the white armor on the arms, but other than that, this figure is accurate. I give this minifigure an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. The build is the Razor Crest, which is the main ship for the majority of the show so far. I think this build looks good, but it definitely is not as smooth as it is in the show. The engines especially look a little off, but other than that, I think it looks really good. I give this build an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. So overall, the average of the whole set gets an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. The fourth set is The Child, which came out in 2020, and this is a different type of set and is at a different scale. The only minifigure is Grogu, and I already covered this figure and gave it an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. The build is a brick-built version of Grogu, who was only known as The Child at the time, and since it is at a bigger scale, it has a lot more details and really looks accurate to the character in the show. It even comes with the small metal ball from the show. There is also a stand, but that isn't supposed to be from the show and is just extra, so I'm not counting it. So I give this build an accuracy score of 5 out of 5. There isn't much wrong for me to give it a score any lower. So overall, the average of the whole set gets an accuracy score of 4.5 out of 5. The fifth and final set is the Mandalorian and the Child Brickheads that came out in 2020. And I saved this one for last because it is in a different style and it is kind of hard to decide what is accurate. The first build is the Mandalorian Brickheads and for this style, it is kind of hard to get all of the details right, but the shaping of the helmet looks good. The details are simple but give a decent representation of the details in the show. So with this style of build in mind, I will give it an accuracy of 4 out of 5. The second build is the Child Brickheads, and this is also in the same style, but gives a good representation of the character in this style. It also includes the hover pod thing that he is in for parts of the show. So similar to the other Brickheads, for this style, I will also give it an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. So overall, the average of the whole set gets an accuracy score of 4 out of 5. So overall, the average of all of these sets gets an accuracy score of 3 .5 out of 5. For the most accurate minifigure overall, there are a lot of figures tied with 4 out of 5, but I'm going to give it to Cara Dune. The most accurate build is the Brick Built Child with a 5 out of 5, and the most accurate set overall is the Child with a 4.5 out of 5. So that is how accurate every Mandalorian set from 2019 and 2020 are to the show. There will be a part 2 eventually for every set from 2021, so be on the lookout for that eventually. But anyway, that's all I have to say, so see you next time, goodbye. Bye.